Okay, heading into 305B, and then we'll get into 305A. Um, cleaning is still ongoing, so I have to look past that. Okay, as I noticed here, looking up, uh, someone clipped the uh, little piece of, uh, of uh, the uh, popcorn tile here, so that just needs to be fixed. So that, that is somewhat unsightly in this room here. Mark, it looks like soap. Still needs to be cleaned. Again, a little bit of mark from the from the luggage carts. Very, very minor cosmetic things here. Again, heading out to the front. All right, as we walk through and going into the one bedroom side, Furniture and carpet is in good shape. Um, one little spot on the cabinet here. Looks like somebody chipped off a piece of the laminate there or the veneer. But this is a cabinet, in my opinion, that probably could be removed anyway and mount that to the wall, mount the television to the wall. Okay, let's keep going in. Furniture, uh, kitchen counter, and uh, kitchen table is all in about the same shape. Again, same same condition as the other side. I would say maybe the, maybe the stove. Nah, it's all about the same. Yep, identical. I would say there's nothing at the top of that edge that needs to be done. Coming back in, let's take a look at the air conditioning system here. Okay, so this was installed in March of this year, so newer air conditioning system on this side. Washer and dryer is the same. If I was going to make a decision, I would come with this unit instead of the other one just because of the air conditioning. So this would be the 305A and 305B. But again, the only, only difference that I see between the two units is um, the air conditioning unit is newer in this particular condo. It still does have that little chip there that that is a cosmetic item that, we can, that can be easily fixed. Yep. I'm going to say that my recommendation goes with unit 305A and B.